On the occasion of the World Day Against Trafficking in Persons, the state of Kuwait joins the international community in calling on stakeholders to include victims and the survivors' perspectives in all anti-trafficking action. Thousands of people are still being trafficked globally as key parties struggle to find a solution. More with Hadil Fahed. While the United Nations commemorates the International Day Against the Trafficking in Persons, which takes place on July 30 of each year, with the aim of raising awareness of this grave violation and calling for strengthening prevention and the protection against it, millions of victims of human trafficking of women, men and children fall into the hands of smugglers every year. We generally can talk about uh, 25 million victim of trafficking around the world, either through the forced labor or the sex work or people who are with the armed groups as well. The COVID-19 pandemic has exposed and moved many global inequalities, creating new obstacles to achieving the sustainable development goals. During the COVID time, uh, the number of uh, victims of trafficking has increased for the simple fact that they were subject to more exploitation as they were in a bad economic situation. Uh, when it comes to uh, the government of Kuwait and uh, its role in fighting uh, the human trafficking, they have been doing an increasing um, efforts to fight uh, the human uh, to, to trafficking in several areas, including uh, through their department uh, for uh, counter-trafficking that is re related to the Ministry of Interior and through the uh, prosecution that they have been doing uh, and the legal uh, acts against uh, all the traffickers. Uh, they have been providing also assistance and, uh, assistance and, the, and the protection for the victims that are in their uh, shelter, but also they have been working on some of the new regulation that will help uh, against the human uh, trafficking. The sustainable development goals include the clear targets to prevent exploitation and abuse and to eliminate all forms of violence against all women and girls. When it comes to our role as International Organization for Migration, we have been working very closely with the government, either with the Ministry of Interior, Ministry of Foreign Affairs, but also with the civil society organization, uh, mainly to provide awareness raising on the uh, human uh, tra trafficking, but also on the regulation that are available uh, in Kuwait here. We have been also providing uh, capacity building. We have been providing a lot of workshops, either for the private sector or for the government entities about uh, uh, this uh, uh, topic. But also we have been working uh, to provide assistance to the potential victim of trafficking, including the voluntary return to their own uh, countries and we have been working very closely uh, with some of the institution on the new regulation that will help fight against uh, this uh, serious uh, crime including ethical recruitment and including work on the national referral mechanism for the protection of the potential victim of human trafficking on this international day against the trafficking in persons let us reaffirm our commitment to prevent criminals from ruthlessly exploiting people for profit and to help victims rebuild their lives. To Kuwait English News, Hadil Fahed.